Don't be fooled by me. Don't be fooled by the face I wear. For I wear a mask. A thousand masks. Masks that I'm afraid to take off. And none of them is me. Pretending is an art that is second nature with me. But don't be fooled. For God's sakes, don't be fooled. I give you the impression that I'm secure. That everything is sunny and a ruffle with me, within as well as without. That confidence is my name and coolness is my game. That the waters are calm and that I'm in command and I need no one. But don't believe me. My surface may seem smooth, but my surface is my mask. Ever varying and ever concealing. Beneath lies no complacence. Beneath lies fear and confusion and aloneness. But I hide it. I don't want anybody to know it. I panic at the thought of what's exposed. That's why Frank created a mask to hide behind. A nonchalant, sophisticated facade to help me pretend. To shield me from the glance that knows. But such a glance is precisely my salvation. My only hope, and I know it. That is, if it is followed by acceptance, if it is followed by love, is the only thing that can assure me of what I can assure myself, that I'm worth something. But I don't tell you this. I don't dare to. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid you'll think less of me. That you'll laugh and your laugh will kill me. I'm afraid that deep down I'm worth nothing and that you will see this and reject me. So I play my game, my desperate pretending game, a facade of assurance without and a trembling child within. So begins the glittering but empty parade of masks, and my life becomes a front. I idly chat with you in the suave tone of surface talk. I tell you everything that is really nothing, and nothing about everything of what's crying within me. So when I'm going through my routine, don't be fooled by what I'm saying. Please listen carefully and try to hear what I'm not saying. What I like to say, what for survival I need to say, but what I can't say. I don't like hiding. I don't like playing superficial phony games. I want to be genuine and spontaneous and me. But you gotta help me. You gotta hold out your hand, even when that's the last thing I seem to want. Only you can breathe. Only you can walk away from my eyes, a blank stare of the breathing dead. Only you can call me into aliveness. Each time you're kind and gentle and encouraging. Each time you try to understand because you really care, my heart begins to grow wings. Very small wings, very feeble wings, but wings. With the power to touch me into feeling, you can breathe life into me. I want you to know that. I want you to know that you can be a creator, an honest-to-God creator of the person that is me. Only you can walk down the walls around which I tremble. Only you can be my mask. Only you can release me from my shadow of world of panic, from my lonely prison, if you choose to. Please choose to. Do not pass me by. It will not be easy for you. A long conviction of worthlessness builds strong walls. The nearer you approach me, the blinder may strike back. It's irrational. But despite what the books may say about man, often I am irrational. I fight against the very thing I cry out for. So when you beat down, but I'm told that love is stronger than strong walls. And therein lies my hope. So when you beat down my walls, please use firm hands but gentle hands. For a child is very sensitive, and I am a child. Who am I, may wonder? I am someone you know very well. From every man, every woman, every child, every human you meet.